Hey, John Reed, JDE.com, Palo Alto. I talked to Suresh Ramakrishnan into doing a video. Thanks for being a good sport. Sure thing. We got some good content. First, uh, tell the people uh, the areas you're responsible for. So uh, I'm with SAP Technology Marketing, and I'm responsible for the uh, cloud technology portfolio. Uh, that includes the platform as a service, uh, the, the JPass uh, specifically, um, as well as the virtualization cloud management portfolio. Um, we recently uh, announced the ramp up of LVM or landscape virtualization management as part of that as a product that's going to go live uh, in um, a couple of months here and um, as well as the HANA application cloud. So essentially all the, the uh, technology components of related to cloud that SAP has is what I look after. Yeah, there's a lot of good stuff going on with LVM. I just did a long video with some virtualization hardcore folks that want to link it in our description and get your feedback on it later because we have uh, virtualization week coming up in a couple months as well. That's right. So Virtualization week is coming up in uh, April uh, 14th, I believe, uh, along that time frame. Um, that's a, it's a great event. It's something that SAP has been doing now for uh, the last five or six years. Uh, it's our marquee uh, virtualization focused event that we have here based here in Palo Alto. Uh, we get a lot of engagement from customers and partners, especially um, something that we look forward to. So the HANA App Cloud, uh, it's something that sounds so cool, but I want to understand, what is the business relevance of the HANA App Cloud? What does it mean? So the, the HANA App Cloud essentially is uh, a way for, it, it's an on-demand application-based environment based on SAP HANA, right? And what it does essentially is give uh, access to applications um, based on SAP HANA uh, in the cloud immediately at lower cost, right? And it's got, uh, it's, it's the applications deployed on SAP infrastructure um, and uh, is an easy to use, easy to consume, uh, utility computing kind of model. So uh, essentially giving you access to uh, applications and SAP HANA at a much lower cost much more quickly. And I know you guys are working on a roadmap, sales and operations <coughs> planning. Tell us a little bit about that. It's been in ramp up. What are you learning so far? Um, so sales and operations planning is, is coming up live um, in, again in a a couple of months here. Um, we only we announced the beta of the HANA application cloud back at Sapphire uh, Madrid last year, and we have a few applications online already. So sales and operations planning is going to be the next big one that's coming up. Um, again, it's it's a new offering that uh, we are really excited about, um, seeing a lot of tremendous inter interest from customers already, um, and uh, something that uh, we expect that's going to be one in a series of applications that will be released going forward. The, for the rest of this year. I've also heard a lot of talk about something called J-Pass, uh, and sometimes <coughs> I think Vishal called it River on stage in Madrid. For those who aren't too familiar, what does J-Pass mean to SAP? Yeah, so J-Pass is an internal term. Uh, we still are working on the name of the final product, uh, something that uh, we, will, we will get to in the near term, hopefully. Um, it really is part of our on-demand platform strategy or for developing applications in the cloud. Uh, mm -hmm. And it, it is uh, part of the vision that brings together uh, the capabilities from um, you know, the, the different application components that we have with, by design, for example, that's built up on the ABAP stack, and then to complement that with the Java uh, stack, which allows you to build applications in uh, really easy to use uh, uh, languages such as Java, but it will also support other languages going forward because it's based upon an, an, an open architecture. And it's something that will uh, enable uh, our customers and partners to build new applications uh, as well as extensions to existing SAP applications, both on-premise as well as on-demand. And some, uh, the applications that they build will be deployed and made available in the cloud. And who would develop on JPass? Would it be everyone from customers to partners to individual developers? What kind of potential do you see there? Exactly. So uh, customers uh, who have their own IT shops and are looking to build uh, extensions or complementary solutions to, to existing SAP or other solutions would be a great target, uh, as well as uh, ISVs who are looking to create applications and, and have a market 
where they can bring their applications to the market and, and have access to the entire SAP uh, ecosystem uh, is another opportunity, as well as individual developers who have uh, a nifty little application that they want to bring to the market that can complement an existing uh, SAP application or, or any other functionality that would be of use to general SAP customers. Now here we get to a source of some friction. Um, I'm part of, I guess, a cadre of individuals who are either instigators or advocates or maybe some people at SAP think we're jerks, <laughs> but we're, we're passionately committed to individual developers getting access to this platform because we think that the future of SAP can really benefit from a platform view that includes the entire ecosystem. What, what is your take on that? So philosophically, I think we're very aligned. Um, I think uh, engaging with the developers is going to be critical for the success of the platform. I believe the platform is a very integral part of SAP's overall cloud strategy. Um, and so to succeed in that, we should succeed in the, in the platform. And to succeed in the platform, we really need to drive adoption as much as possible. Um, so what we are working on really is thinking about how to make it as easy as possible for developers to get access to it uh, and give them the right set of tools to make it easy for them to build applications as well as the supporting infrastructure. Because if you look at you know what, is, what do developers want, they want to be able to build applications quickly and easily and then they want to be able to monetize those applications. And that's the promise of what we are bringing uh, to bear here is uh, to provide that entire lifecycle experience from easy to build application as well as easy to de deploy, uh, manage, and monetize your applications. That's quite a challenge. So that's what you guys are working on here in Palo Alto, huh? Yeah, it, it is a challenge, but uh, it's it's a fun challenge, and I think it's something that uh, we are we have the right uh, orientation towards. We have the right ideas about. So, uh, still a lot of things to be thought through and worked out, but that's what we're looking to do. All right, well, we'll raise this topic in uh, Sapphire just a few months and see where it stands. Thanks a lot for taking the time today to share the strategy with us. Sure. Thanks so much.